Hey, good morning, everybody. So today what we're doing is what looks like to be an addition on the back of this garage is actually going to be a floor for a brewery. The guy's going to build, you know, this building and turn it into his own little brewery. So that's why there's so many floor drains in here. Everything's sloped. There's not one flat place on this floor. This is the big bay for the, like, almost like a garage bay right here that slopes to the center drain. And then there's a room over there that all slopes to that trench drain there's another trench drain with a room there trench drain with a room here and then there's like almost like a little bathroom here it's got a little center drain in it so um what i'll do is i'll use the laser and shoot my high points kind of where the walls are going to be built and then we'll slope off wherever those walls are going to be to make sure everything slopes to the right drain. <laughs> um, it's really not that hard it's just a matter of knowing where the walls are and i got a picture of that on my phone you take a look at this slump first. Looks pretty good. Alright, so here's kind of a picture of all the different rooms in the in the building and how we want each one sloped to the drain. What's that say right there? Eight feet? Yeah, eight feet. So that's where that wall is right over here. This one where, the, where the slope starts, yeah. For this drain. That says seven foot six. That says seven foot six this way, oh, but, oh, but eight feet that way. Yeah, eight, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that's probably right on these. The tricky thing about these trench drains is it tends to want to crack off them, so we've got to try to saw some cuts off the ends, but what helps, if it does crack, we're going to put some rebar in on each corner, that helps keep the crack a little bit tight. Uh, I don't know if we got enough of that. You could throw that one in there if you want. Here's another one. No, I got enough. This this wall is. I'll get a tape, but it's gonna be right about here. Watch that. Yeah. yeah. No, I'll get it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, a little bit right here. See my line right there?
Guys, can you move from the laser, please? Thank you. Yeah, you gotta watch Brian. He's always a pain in the ass. But yeah, hey, whenever I'm shooting these grades with this, and I need to have a direct line to that laser, Luke, that's all. Just kind of pay attention to that. So if he's talking to you, you know you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> hey, we gotta pick on you too. Uh, Should be all good there. So this this is a high the high point's right here. Yeah. That right with there's a wall right there, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So I think you can still come out and then you go should back. Come out to that. Actually, right? I should yeah. come right up to that. There should be there's a wall here and there's a wall here. So this should all be the same. Yep. And then this this should be a high point too. Let me double check. Yeah, right straight across. So they can come to the edge of the drain, right? Yeah. You gotta put that. You could put two there. Yep. And that one would be over for there. I think that's the last one we got. I probably got another one in the truck. We got one right down the center of this, Eric, is a high point. That's all low in there. Lock it! Good! A little bit behind Eric, Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get another. This this goes right across, so I'll get one here. Right. But we can we can strike here. Yeah. And then pull those up. Yep. So get right behind it. Yeah. So we gotta get another. Just a bunch of pads behind it. Don't mess up that pad here, right? Just like a smacker upside the head. Ow. Where the pad is, you know? No. Don't. You watched all the videos, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I did. Okay, so he knows what to do. You can get, don't even tell him nothing. How do you want to work? This this is a little room. See where these pipes are? Yeah. So that's one little room right here. Okay. So you can strike. So you want to strike off? Yep. This way? Yep. Come down to that. Yeah, 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 you can if you cut back out here if you got to. I'll yeah. redo it, but yeah, that's one room, two two rooms, three room. Yeah, I'll mag a pad in between there. You don't listen to Mike. That's some solid advice you ought to take for yourself. Yeah, especially when you're backing up. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, usually you look in the mirror where the guy is, not the other one. Not the other mirror? Well, that's why they put two mirrors on. We got that on video, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got everything on video. I do. You said she could burn water. No, 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 no. Let's take that How do you think I got this big belly on? All right, so those rooms are good. 
be able to come right Yeah, I can almost use my Dobby in there with that one. Almost need a little bit more here, don't we? I don't know why Brian pulled ahead so much. You're yawning again, you need coffee? All right, that bull float's four feet, so there's some of this we won't even be able to use the bull float on because the slopes are only like three feet or a little bit less. Like up on this side, I'm gonna go up and try to mag as much of that as I can, like this here. Exactly what it was. Yeah, you can go right straight out of there. Yeah. Remember, there's a wall going right here, all the way, all the way down to that centerpiece in the garage. So this, this kind of splits and tapers down, and this, this tries to stay flat right here. Back around. There's a wall right here, so just need to. I want to make. I want to just double check that, make sure it didn't dip at all. But I do with the. It shouldn't. The way you oh, came I'm out. About that grain. Yeah. See that for a second. It's gotta be off because I broke the wall. Can we take some of that out? Right within pipe die, yeah, that wall is like right here. See if we can pull fold some of that. Oh, the 
Hold on. Okay, this is a good now yep. stop right here for a sec. Okay. See how this is smooth yeah. and that is rocky. That means yeah. that's just a tiny bit low. So we'll set back up in. You just slowly push a little bit in there. First. Yeah, a little more, right up to the straight edge. Yeah. Now to your right, a little bit over there. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Nice. That will be cool. So keep the rhythm. Eric, he knows you don't have rhythm, so. Yeah, that's right where the pipes are, yeah. Okay, turn it. Let me let me square up to you, and we can turn it a little bit. Yeah, stay back on the drain though. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now they gonna go this way. You good? Alright. Brian, you're a little quiet, bud. You okay? Strike. Yeah, strike that. Then we can turn this. And this will come right out there. Get a little bit more here. Watch your head there, coach. Why am I fighting so bad? Something yeah. Luke, Darren's gonna need just a little bit behind his feet. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. Push it right up behind. There you go. Good. Lucky? I think we just slide right out of the way here for a sec. I almost think you're gonna need a shorter rod over there. Kind of square it up first though. Take one more to the drain loop. Perfect. Yep, we got plenty in there. Go grab a shovel. You grab a shovel there, make a little pile out of you. So again, there's a picture of what the, the floor, the building looks like with the drains and all the slopes that the guy wants. So I think we got it pretty good. This whole big piece slopes are there. That looks like it's got good slope over there, that big long one. And then those three little rooms all got good slope. So everything should be good when we get done power trowing and sawing. Should be able to just wash, you know, all the brewery equipment down. Everything should go to a drain. And that's what the plan is anyway. So it's, you know, we got one, two, three, four, five drains in this little floor. 
you kind of need to know what you're doing, where you need to put your high points, you know, where the, what we need to know where the walls are, and that, you know, just gives you a little bit better floor, obviously, and then you got to know how to slope them, where you need to put the end of the straight edge, like the, the end of the straight edge wants to be even with that, with the drain as he's coming up, he doesn't want to overlap that two feet over here, and be, he'll be digging into this concrete, because it slopes that way. Same with over there, there's a wall over there, so that end of the drain wants to be right about where that wall area is, because that's the high point. One more little one, Luke, out of there. Another little one, yeah, perfect. <laughs> it's the same when I bow fold. I want to put the edge of that bow fold right on that with a like the slope would be. I don't want to overlap the bow fold into the part of the floor that's coming down into the into the low part. Otherwise, I'll just be digging in with the bow fold. So, and I'll just change the slope of the V if I do that too. So I want to keep that edge right in line with the drain. That. Hey Eric, can you just put a mag full right there please? Yeah. Or a come along full? come set over like this and that's fine because the floor is all sloping right to that low point so like anywhere over here is fine to both low with the edges now I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna put now I'm gonna put this edge right on that and then I can go up there to my high point And then when I get over here, I want to go get to my high point, and I don't want to overlap it with the bow flow. Otherwise, I'll I'll flatten out that high point into the slope. So I'll ride that side right on the high point like that. And then I'll main I'll maintain that high point without flattening it out. What do they call your school? The loop? All right, that's going to do it for the pour. As you can see, we got a new guy starting today. His name's Luke. We'll have to break him in. He's got, you know, he's a high school kid, so he's got about 10 weeks of work. That'll help us out quite a bit. And we'll leave a couple guys here to finish power trial this. Get it nice and smooth, you know, saw cut it. And then this guy can start building, so... Again, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.